Hi everyone and welcome back. Today we are checking out The River Wild, a 1994 movie, I believe, starring, I don't really know, I think it stars Meryl Streep and Kevin Bacon. Uh, I haven't watched too many of their movies. Meryl Streep obviously more than Kevin Bacon because I feel like Meryl, Meryl Streep is in almost every movie now. But Kevin Bacon, I honestly, I don't know if I've seen any Kevin Bacon movies to be honest. I just know him by name because he has the word bacon in his name so I, I love <laughs> I love his name Kevin Bacon but I don't know if I've seen any of his movies. When I see his face obviously I will recognize him by face but right now I cannot picture his face in my head so I, I cannot tell you if I've seen a Kevin Bacon movie or not. Anyways this movie won my Patreon poll. It came up against four other movies and it won the day. Uh, I have not heard of this movie before. Never heard of it when someone was uh, uh, asked me to watch it, requested it. I was like, okay, I'll put it on the poll, but I've never actually heard of it before. But I'm going to be honest, the, the poster alone, it looks a lot of fun. It looks like a white water rafting movie and it like people may be trying to survive on the white water rafts or something on the, on the, like the really crazy rivers. And I think this movie is just going to be a lot of of fun so yeah i don't really have much to say going into it because i'm just going in expecting a really fun movie it could be really cheesy for all i know uh, honestly 1994 a river rafting movie i feel like there's going to be some cheese in it starring kevin bacon and uh meryl streep so i'm expecting some cheese but i'm i want that in this movie i just want a really fun action movie and maybe like su some suspense as well but i'm thinking mostly just pure adrenaline action <laughs> with a raft and a river. Also, before we get into this movie, let's do the lighting. So let me turn on my light and then we can decide what the lighting should be. Boop. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, so the lighting today, I think it's pretty obvious what the lighting should be. I'm going blue. I'm going blue because this, the, I'm pretty sure, judging by the poster and the name of the movie with the word river in it, that this movie is going to be taking place primarily on a wild river on on again white water rapids and stuff like that so yeah the lighting is blue because of literally everything in the poster is blue besides i think that's kevin bacon besides kevin bacon's orange life jacket <laughs> and the title which is in white so anyways yeah blue is the color today okay let's get into this movie i'm very excited to watch it so without further ado i hope you enjoy my reaction to the river wild is that the street is this the street <laughs> What song is this in the background? I know this song. Do, 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 do. I like this movie already. The music is really good. And these uh, roaming shots are really well done. So I'm excited. I think that the at least the director and the team behind the movie knows somewhat what they're doing. They're capable. We're incapable. John C. Riley's in this movie. Oh, what am I saying though? This movie came out in 1994. I think movies in the 80s and 90s mostly the 80s and like early 90s i think and some exceptions to that rule like every single action movie had so much care put into it but and then like it starts to dwindle off in like the 2000s and nowadays jerry goldsmith wait is this song from this movie because i know this song and is it from this movie or is it f another song first Oh, I thought she was, there was the train sound and I was like, is she racing a train or something? Is there a, a water train? <laughs> Those other times. Mom, you have a stomach ache in my mouth. Oh God. You do. A stomach ache in my mouth. <laughs> is the dad Kevin Bacon? I oh. almost got you packed. That doesn't look like Kevin Bacon. Oh, you're fine. So let Parker do it. Maggie, get off the quilt. Maggie. Get off the quilt. No, let her stay on the quilt. Oh, but you see that? She, Maggie only listens to Meryl. I wonder if him being uh, deaf is important to the story at all. This kid is also I, very recognizable. Like, I still feel like I've seen him around as like a child actor. 
become unbelievably hard. Oh, honey, forgive me, but you don't know what hard is. Oh. His orneriness and his deafness. That I wouldn't have taken it years ago. What? She's saying she would have dumped her husband if she was able to. <laughs> what? What? Go buy me a map and get the tags, would you? Okay. The ranger down by the water said I had to get some tags from her. I thought this was all I needed. There he is, the Kevin, the bacon. I recognize the back of his head. Okay, I feel like I have seen him in movies before, but I just don't remember what movies I've seen him in. Thanks. Oh my god, idiot kid. Is that your mom? Yeah. <laughs> He's like, that's Meryl Street. End of the line, Bridal Creek. Oh yeah, that's too. Oh, great. Oh, wait. We're dying here. Oh, that's John C. Riley. Well. There. <laughs> I was going to say, they're in love, but then he took his hat off and his head looked like a porcupine. <laughs> One, two, three. Let's do it. Come on, jump on. Is the dad going to be the character that's like always screaming and scared about everything? This is so pretty. What the heck? Where did they film this? This is actually beautiful. <laughs> That's me when we're hiking and I'm showing like my little brother. So like, look at that view. And, and they're like, and they're like, yeah, it's a view. And then they just keep walking. It's like, appreciate it, please. This is so much fun. What the heck? Uh, the score is beautiful. The score is actually insane. I'm gonna get this score as soon as the movie's over. Do that one. That's after the takeout of Bridal Creek. You, you know what they're gonna do though? That one. There's no way they would just mention it. Not get so lucky. One guy got killed, and the other one is paralyzed for life. Do you think a raft accidentally floats into the gauntlet and they have to go after it? Yeah, I just got a cramp. We're trying to work it out. Hey, who's your friend, Gail? Oh no. This is Tom, O'Rourke's father. She didn't say my husband, did she? She didn't say my husband. She said she said the, he's the father, but she never said anything that she was affiliated to him in any way. So, Meryl Streep. You know, this is the first time we've all had dinner together since Mom's birthday. Kids, always point out the stuff that you don't want them to. Hey, Rourke, if that had so lucky, I want it back. He's like, no, seriously, I want it back. <laughs> Thank you, not for mine. I don't do too bad at pretending to like your stuff, so. Pretending. Pretending to like it. Let's just stop, okay? You never. Oh, please. Ben, you're ruining the trip. You're ruining the trip. Although Gail did say. What she said was like just a little bit inconsiderate, if you know what I mean. Are you sure there's fish around here, Mom? No, uh, I mean you're in water, so there will be fish eventually. Ah, uh, he's like a serial killer, just watching them from the shore. Looks like we're stuck. Looks like you go through the rapids. But if you do, point your feet downstream and hold onto your jacket. Make sure it's buckled real tight. Just what? The current take. What? Remember, Kevin Bacon. What are you doing? Hey, I don't live my life like that, and I don't think you do either. Maggie! <laughs> uh, I thought he was a good person. I thought he was just like flirting with Meryl Streep. I didn't think he was like out to get the husband now. Scared me. What are they up to? What are they up to? Are there like drugs in the woods or something like that? Are they drug runners? Here we go. Where's the uh she said stay on the right. Wait a second, where's the second where's the third guy? Where's the third guy? Did he die? What happened? Get us over, boy! Oh, shit! You're not very good, Kevin Bacon, are you? Get the front, get the bow, we're gonna pick him up. 
That's so dangerous. That's so dangerous. He can't swim. Why is he on a raft if he can't swim? Is he stupid? Yeah, he's panicking. He's panicking. No, you're dragging him back down. But this is what happens. This is so cool. This is actually what happens. I really like that because that was a really realistic portrayal of what happens when people are drowning. They don't try and like sit there and let you take them. They try and drown you because they're trying to get above water. You saved my life. Oh, don't worry about it. You didn't have to hit me though. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's like she's flirting with him. Oh, what the heck? And the husband's right there. Like, I know their marriage isn't going well, but they're not divorced yet, are they? Dad. My dad's been telling my mother for 30 years that they're gonna rob On the radio? These guys are the people on the radio. Kevin Bacon's gang. To the people on the radio, I bet. I thought Frank was married to your sister. Oh, yeah. She lives in Tulsa. Oh. See? See? I bet that guy was... Oh, wait, no. I was just gonna say there's a security guard dead, but... That's not... Who was that guy then? Ladies sure do like Wade. Yeah. I would be really uncomfortable with this. Like it's so flirty. You sound like you're jealous. I'm not jealous. I would be jealous. It's Kevin Bacon. Maybe I am being a jerk about Wade, but that still doesn't change. I just think something's off. He's so right. I think they're the people on the radio. I think they're the, the robbers or whatever they, they the radio said they were. Like, he's so creepy. He's actually so creepy just standing, staring. This is the second time in the movie where he's just been staring in the background before the boat's turned around or before Meryl Streep has like seen him and then he's like, oh hey. And I bet you'd like to do it again, wouldn't you? No. Yeah. Once is enough. Once is enough for a lifetime. And they'd wait there for a vision of their guardian spirit to appear to them. They're just so dehydrated. Guardian spirit would then. They hallucinate. Happy birthday to you. Oh, it's the kid's birthday. I forgot about that. Yeah, sure. <laughs> I think it might be something you can use on the river. Look at it! Great. It's a Swiss Army knife! It's actually sick. Swiss Army knives are so cool. Even the price. Yeah. <laughs> How much is it? Who wants some cake? $79.95. Hey, save me a piece. <laughs> 79 95 Whatever you want to do, that's your money. I told you they robbed somewhere. It was they were they're the guys on the radio. They robbed some some place. Rourke, give the money back to him. No! He gave it to me, it's mine. Rourke. Come it's like Frodo with the ring. It's mine, mine only. <laughs> what are we going to do? I think there's only one thing we can do. Let's go rafting. It's far inside of marriage, you mean? I think we're sufficiently alienated. Yay! I'm so glad that they're making up, actually. I might talk about this at the end of the movie, but this movie surprised me with this. Oh my god, Kevin Bacon's gonna be watching in the woods. Like a scary guy. Something bad is about to happen. There's no such thing as thunder and rain. Ah, oh, stop it! Stop, 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 stop. I didn't expect this movie to be like a horror movie as well. It's so creepy, but I don't want to make a big deal about it or scare Rourke. I just think we have to get away from them. This is what the guy said at the start of the day, and you didn't listen to him. Come on, honey. Stow your fishing rod. Let's go. Come on, Maggie! Oh my god, he's going in their boat. River. Well, if we get in trouble, you're going to be there, right? Yeah, Mom. Just wear a music won't bother you either. Wade. Is making sure that they stay together. Gail, look at me. Gail, look at me. 
everything's gonna be alright. Uh, don't say that. That's the one thing you don't say in movies. <gasps> oh god, that's even worse. Oh my god. Seven. No. He's actually loading a gun in front of a kid. Hey. <laughs> Come on, man. All right. All right. Better get. That actually be so scary. You don't know what this kid's done with it. He could have like cocked it by accident. Good distraction. Good distraction, Tom. Kid, get in. Kid, get in. Come on, Maggie. Come on, girl. Oh, I thought that was a gun. What are you guys doing? I thought that was a gun. What if I said I'm not gonna let you go? Oh my God, I hate him. I'd cry in a corner. That's what I would do. I'm pulling you down, Tom. Oh, Tom! Tom with the dodge! That was sick. Is he an MMA fighter or something? No! It's not gonna be that easy. Help me! Oh. Oh my oh, god. god. No way! Oh, wait, please. God, please don't. He's not gonna do it. He's not gonna do it. This movie's only PG-13. He's not gonna do it. Right? I think I'll get rid of the dog. No! Thank God. He actually shot at the dog though. That is an irredeemable thing about a person. If you shoot at a dog, you're dead to be. And unfortunately, no more skinny dipping. By the way, Gail. <gasps> Picture of him so the police know who he is. On purpose, I could drown. It's just levels of playing field. So they can't flip or else ev like everyone dr driving will drown. Well, if they flip, everyone's gonna die except for like John C. Riley at this point. I feel like, cause can't swim. Three people tied down, so John C. Riley's character is the only one that will live. Oh my God! He just chucked the hat off. <laughs> Good play. Good play. So you had to finish him off. Did you do it, Wade? Or did you make Terry kill? Him? There were two bullets missing. Wait, there were two bullets missing. Yeah, they killed him. They shot him. Pour into that one canyon, but it's glacier water, so... It's freezing. You know what hypothermia is? When I go camping, I go up, like, into the mountains sometimes, and I will, like, stick my feet in the rivers there. Absolutely freezing. Like, I feel like my foot falls off as soon as I stick it in there. But it's also really refreshing. You have to, for your family. <gasps> Give this guy to help. Oh my god, it's a park ranger. Hello, the canoe! He's gonna die, he's gonna die. Well, Gail here's our guide. She just makes a trip so interesting that once she shows us one thing, we just naturally the, wanna move on. The husband's smart, the husband's so smart, but this guy's about to die. Met up with a tree. I hurt my knee, too. I, I, I'm Terry. I no! Friend. And I'm waiting. No, he ruined his plan. What do you say, big man? Thank you. You all take it easy now. No. No. I was really worried that the police officer was going to die when he, once he found out. <gasps> they could speak sign language. That's why. That's why it was incorporated into the story. That's so smart, actually. And there's the knife coming into play. All the pieces are were set. Baby girl waiting at the other end, and I know I cannot do this. I cannot row this big water. You could do it. You could do it. You have to because he's going to say no. Oh my God. There's not enough bullets for him to kill everyone. So if they ask, you could totally grab the gun. Oh boys, and they're gonna escape through the the big river? I'm not sure. It could work. It could work. God, what other options do we have? I'm gonna get the gun. 
No, 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 no. Please don't. I love it too. Oh. They did this at the start of the movie. This movie did a really good job. Well, I feel like a lot of movies do it, but this movie did a good job at setting things up at the start of the movie so that we know what it, they mean and what they're there for by the end of the movie. Stay here and watch them. Oh no. Oh no. Tom, run. Don't stop. Don't stop. Keep running. Tom, are you up here? I don't think you're up here. You're so loud. Why are you being so loud? Tom! Where are you? He can't swim. I hope he dies. He's not dead. He's not dead. He's hiding underwater. I feel like that actually would have been the best. Just like swim underwater for a bit. Stayed awake like I told you. Tom would be alive. Now shut your fat mouth and tie them in the tent. I bet Tom comes and saves them last minute. I bet Tom does that. I'm gonna kill you, Wade. Just wait for it. <laughs> Get it? Get it? Hey! Told you he's still alive. I don't think he even got shot. I thought he would have floated downriver quite a bit, but he kind of swam back up. No, 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 no. Get up before they get there. Oh my god. If you sit still enough, they won't see you like Drax and Guardians of the Galaxy. Or Infinity War, I should say. No, 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 please. Blend in. Yes, I told you. Sit still and no one will notice you. Oh, oh my god. Why did that scare me? Why did they have to do that? Why did they have to do that jump scare with the dog? Oh my god. Hey. Yeah, look, they're both in wetsuits because they know they're gonna flip into this glacier water. Terry, hand me that box of cartridges, will you? Oh no. She's prepping. She's prepping for the flip. <laughs> Go, 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 go. How did they let her do that? Free left. You can stand here. Oh, it's not it's not deep enough for him to just drown. That's so beautiful. What's on the corner? That? That little Niagara. Oh, we're here. We're here, boys. Oh yes, I'm so excited. I'm so excited for this. You know these raft scenes, I haven't mentioned them yet, but the raft scenes are made really, really well. Like filmed really, really well. Oh, like the vision quest. Even that story had a purpose in the greater movie. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, she has hope. She has the motivation. I actually kind of like John C. Riley's character, you know? He didn't want to do all this bad stuff, he just wanted the money. Like, Wade is the only person I have true beef with. Get up front, Terry. Do it! Yes! Yes! Oh my god. That's just death awaiting you. That terrifies me to look at. Am I just getting close to that? You die. Wow, okay. Yeah, that's definitely, that's definitely bad. Oh. 
That's a good jumping spot. Hey, come on. Listen to him, dog. Listen to him, Maggie. Maggie, come. Flying dog. I love Maggie. Maggie's so cute. This movie is so much better with the dog. <laughs> Converge and drop 295 feet in a little over a mile and a half. That's huge. That's huge drop in a mile and a half. If you love your mama, you're gonna keep your little mouth shut. You hear me? You hear me? Johnny! Okay, I don't like John C. Riley anymore. Let us. No way. It's too dangerous. I'm gonna have to radio for a helicopter to come up here, transport you and your raft daddy. No, 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 he's so dead. Besides, something tells me Ranger Johnny might not be too good at pretending. No! <laughs> he actually did get shot. <laughs> no! Ranger Johnny. Oh my god. She's gonna kill him hardcore. That is the look of death. If someone ever gave me that look, I would perish instantly. I wonder how accurate everything is in this movie as well. That would be interesting to find out. I'm sorry. I can't do that, Gail. Oh my god, he'll die. Okay, why wouldn't you leave it there though? Because I feel like it's it'll float down the river and someone will see it. But if you leave it here, no one's really gonna see it because no one really goes out here. They're in the canyons now. Oh no. All together, all right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Keep breathing. Don't fall out. I need you both in the boat to make. I bet this would be so fun to film, like actually river rafting for some of it. Are you dumb? Why would you hit the rock? Wow, what a shot. Did you see that shot? I wonder if they use like actual white water rafters for like the wide shots. Yeah. You can do it. I believe in you. You can do it. Ah. This movie is actually so much fun. Oh no. Okay, so they're really close now though, because they kicked that out like five minutes before they started to go down. Oh wow, what a shot. Oh wow. The shots in this movie, some of them are incredible. <laughs> what a shot. What a beautiful, sexy, beautiful, amazing shot. Yeah, because it creates like a whirlpool effect at the bottom of the waterfalls, doesn't it? Oh, okay, well, if you fall off, you get sucked under and you probably wouldn't come back up. Oh, rainbow! What's at the end of the rainbow? Lucky Charms is at the end of the rainbow. Yeah. But that feels so good. Oh my god, I bet that feels so good. Oh, here they come, here they come. Put your plan into action. Why not? No! Nice. Mom! No! Kill him. Oh, he's bleeding. Get it! Reach farther down! Yes! Nice. Gail, please. I'm not gonna hurt you. I I'm not gonna hurt Rourke. Don't let him get close. Oh, please, Gail. Come on now, you can't kill me. You're not like that. Don't kill him. No! What am I talking to you for? 
She miscounted the bullets? There was a way. Oh my god! She's just killed a man. They're just gonna leave John C. Riley there. <laughs> he saved us. He saved our lives. Oh, chills, 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 chills. Do, do, do. The theme of this movie is so good. The theme song of this movie. Do, 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 do. It kind of sounds like the Flanders Field song. You know that song? Oh, wow. That was a good ending. That was such a good ending. I don't know. It's just a happy ending, and I like happy endings. And that was my reaction to The River Wild, the 1994 action thriller starring quite a few people. David Strathair Strath Aaron. I think that's how you say his last name. Meryl Streep, Kevin Bacon, jo Joseph Mazzello, and John C. Riley. Um... I really did enjoy this movie. I thought this movie was really, really good. It was just really, really fun. And as you guys know, I like to look at the reviews for a movie, audience scores and critic scores, just because I think that is very interesting to talk about sometimes. And so this movie, well, I'm just going to scroll down on Google to find the reviews. It has a 6.4 out of 10 on IMDb, 64%, 58% on Rotten Tomatoes, and very strange one added here, 2.7 out of 5 on Rate Your Music. So is that like a score for the movie score, like a, I'm not sure. I, I, I'm not really sure about that one. So I'm just gonna go with the Rotten Tomatoes one and the IMDb one. 58% and 64% is are very close. So I feel like critics and uh, the aud general audience kind of had this very similar feeling while watching this movie. I don't think this movie is overtly deep or anything. I don't think there's any big messages to be found in this movie. I think this movie is just a lot of fun. I think 64% is definitely a deserving score. I think that while this movie is a lot of fun, obviously there are problems with it and you can't give a movie like this like a hundred percent just because just because like movies that get a hundred percent or like ninety percent are like like amazing movies. So I think a six sixty four percent is a very good score for this movie and I think it definitely deserves those marks and the whatever praise that it does get, I think it does deserve it because the shots in this movie were fantastic. The music in this movie I thought was really good. Well at least that that one theme that kept playing over and over again. I really loved that even though I feel like I've heard it before. I thought the acting was great. I thought the weak part of the movie was some of the script, but then also I really liked some of the script, so I'm going to get into that later on in my review. I just thought that this movie was really, really well done. I'm going to start with the score first. The score was amazing from that opening uh, like shots of Meryl Streep rowing in in the city or whatever and then the the soft like trumpet almost in the background just playing the the main theme of the movie which we're going to be hearing a bunch more times was really really good and the score was very emotional but it was also a score that again that I have heard before and I don't know if I've heard it before because I've listened to the score of this movie before or if I've heard it before because there's a, like a songs kind of have similar a similar tune to them because when I was watching this movie I was thinking of like it's a song I don't know if it's like the Flanders Field song but it's, it's like a Remembrance Day song I believe of some form of some sort and the words that the guy sings go in hand in hand with the melody of this movie I believe and so I was whenever that song would play in this movie I'd start singing the song in my head. I don't even know if they were the right words, but I was singing the song, but I don't know. I think that added the, to the movie to me because it gave me like this, this, this pang of nostalgia, which I didn't expect from this movie. So I don't know. I think I liked the movie more because the score was very nostalgic to me for some reason. And even though I'd never seen the movie before, I, for some reason, it, feel, it just feels like I've known the score for a really long time. So that was really cool. But I thought the score was, was like a very, very emotional score. And whenever it played, I would get like a little bit of chills just because I really, really did like the score in general. And yeah, I thought it added to the movie. I thought some of it was like kind of okay. Some of it was like kind of okay. Like all of the big moments, I wasn't like a super big fan of the music for all the big moments. I thought it was like generic-ish, but still good. But like Jerry Goldsmith, I think he composed this and he's an amazing composer. And when, when the actual theme song for this movie would play over stuff, it was, 
it was a phenomenal piece of music and it was it's one that i'm going to at least i'm going to look at the soundtrack for this movie and definitely download a few of the songs once i'm done this review because yeah i, I thought the soundtrack was beautiful speaking of beautiful the setting of this movie was so beautiful it was like it, it definitely reminded me of like western western canada western united states vibes i feel like they did film in the united states because it did look a little bit more southern than where i am right now but it could have been northern in like the summer or something i'm not really too sure about that i think they must have filmed somewhere in like uh, like Washington State or, or Oregon State or something like that or maybe whatever the state is besides Washington State I'm not really sh too sure on the states, but yeah, it was beautiful The landscapes were just like towering above the characters behind them as the and then the rivers were all like if they filmed it on real w Rivers and I kind of this is my segue into how they filmed this movie I thought they filmed this movie so Exceptionally well, I was very worried for a rafting movie that it was going to especially a movie from 1994 where blue screens and and green screens especially green screens and I think a lot of blue screens were used before this but I feel like the idea of using blue screens to create an action sequence the idea of being able to do kind of whatever you want with these characters on a blue screen or a green screen was kind of being grown at this time period a lot more movies were doing it but movies that use the green screen and the blue screen back in 1994 even now for some of it at least doesn't look that good anymore it definitely take at least for me when i watch movies that use old green screens and blue screens really takes me out of the movie because i can just tell that the background is fake that the background is basically being projected on in, in post instead of the characters actually being there but in this movie i think every single every single shot was a real shot in some way and it was really really fun and i thought they just filmed it in a way that made me that made the movie feel very real and very and very natural <laughs> yeah, I mean I was in a natural setting but the movie did feel very natural and just the shots were really impressive any all of the aerial shots where they'd like zoom over this river and then they go around a corner and then the raft would be there like really impressive stuff and I'm wondering if they use the actual actors in the raft and then or if they use like like real white water rafters who were like super qualified to go down these rivers because like I don't know how hard some of these rivers would be to white water raft I don't know if the actors could train for a long time and then do it and maybe they did because I feel like some actors definitely would do that like I know like Tom Cruise would definitely do that Keanu Reeves would definitely do that I feel like Sylvester Stallone would probably do something like that but I don't know if Meryl Streep and uh what's his face any of these other actors like Kevin Bacon and David Strathair and is that how you say his name I'm sorry I'll I'll get to that I guess when I talk about him but I don't know if these actors would necessarily train that hard so I'm thinking that whenever they were in frame they were probably on a very quiet river of some form and then all of the wide aerial shots which were super impressive were like actual qualified people who kind of looked like the actors because you don't really see their faces because there's water splashing in their face and it's just super wide shot and there's so much going on in the frame that you're not really focusing on their faces you're more fo focusing on those wide shots on the actions the characters are taking so yeah i thought the filming of this movie was really impressive it definitely definitely blew me away because i was for some reason expecting like either really bad green screen slash blue screen or like very quick cut jarring shots because they didn't have the budget to actually film on the water but as soon as the film opened with those really beautiful tracking shots of Meryl Streep's character Gale on the rowboat or whatever it wasn't a rowboat but you know what I mean like the rowing the rowing boat I'm gonna call it the rowing boat I don't know what the actual name of it is I, I knew that it wasn't going to be one of those movies. I knew it was going to be a movie where the director and the cameraman and everyone behind the scene actually took a lot of care in the action sequences and how the water sequences were going to play out, especially because this movie takes place almost the whole thing on water. But like I feel like a lot of old movies do this, and I've said this in reviews before, a lot of old movies really take time and really take a lot of care in how they are made, where as action movies now, a lot of them is just fake in a way. It's very, very fake, and it's very just give me, I want to make this for money, um, and it doesn't really feel like authentic in a way. It just feels like a product made for money, but like this movie as, as well as many many others in the 90s and the 80s and the 70s and stuff like that even some in the early 2000s they feel really authentic and they feel like they were made 
through love and through like the love of filmmaking, the love of this idea that someone had instead of just a business or the corporation or the studio or whatever saying we need to make this for money let's just make this very cheap very quick so yeah i really appreciate that about river wild the last thing i'm going to talk about before i get into the cast was the script i thought the script was okay i thought this script had some issues in it but i also thought that the script had some really good things in it i think the issues with the script was the actual characterization of the characters uh i just thought that they kind of express their emotions through dialogue way more than they should have they definitely they definitely told or yeah they definitely did the tell part of show don't tell they didn't really do the show part whenever a character would have an issue with someone or whenever a character was feeling angry or sad or upset they would kind of verbalize it instead of just using their actions and using their like face acting as the actors are probably amazing as so such as meryl streep and kevin bacon are amazing actors right like the the script makes doesn't really give them that much acting to do i feel like because i feel like a lot of the acting is is very natural because they're actually whitewater rafting for some of the movie at least that's what i think they're doing but when they're on land and they're talking and meryl streep for example meryl streep at the start of the movie when she's talking to her mom and she's like i think the marriage might be over she could have just said that and then there could have been a few more lines and but it could have been all conveyed through actions and the way that she said things but instead she kind of lays it all out for the audience and I know that we're trying to get the backstory onto this marriage but it still just felt a little forced and it felt like the characters were telling me their emotions instead of showing me their emotions if you know what I mean but yeah I thought that was the downside of the script but I think the good part of the script was the way that they set up so many things at the start of the movie and every single one of those things paid off in a way at the end of the movie even like the the i love you symbol from uh the granddad from the the deaf granddad and i was like oh is this going to be important because there's no way they just introduce sign language and not use it right so it was cool that they did the i love you thing and then as well they could communicate on the boat the swiss army knife came back the uh the five plus little niagara was obviously going to happen at the end of the movie they mentioned it at the start it's obviously going to happen at the end so yeah i really like the way that they set up things and then like 45 50 minutes later an hour later those things would come back into play and you'd be like oh yeah i remember that like again the sign language at the start of the movie i was like oh this must be used for something i forget about it and then they're and then i was like oh yeah the sign language i forgot about that so yeah i thought that the script did a really good job at that aspect i just thought that they could have done better with their characters and how characters verbalize their emotions in this movie Getting into the cast now, I'm going to do the main five members of the cast, but I'll probably just go through them very quickly because there are five of them and that is a lot of people to talk about. So I'll start in the way, I'll do it, them in the order that Google gives me them. I'll start with David Strathairn. I'm so sorry if I say his said his last name wrong as Tom. I really liked him and I really, really liked his relationship with Gail, especially because I I thought of this at the start of this movie that Tom and Gail were going to split up and I thought Gail was going to be with Wade at the start of this movie. I thought this movie was her gonna was her trying to cope with this divorce and then Wade is gonna come into her life and she's gonna be like, Oh, this is what real happiness feels like. I don't know, something like that. That's what I thought. So I was really surprised and also really happy that Tom and Gail stayed together because I, I just thought one, it was not something that I was expecting. So I was like, oh, this is a nice little surprise. But two, it kind of was a really good message to like, like don't always just judge, like for example, Tom, don't judge Tom by his cover. I mean, I know that's a very cliche saying, but it's true. Like he wasn't trying to ignore the family. He was trying to make Gail proud. So I don't know. I really like that about the movie. And I really like Tom as a character. I'm glad he wasn't, at the start of the movie, he was definitely like the whiny guy who was always like complaining at the start and that doesn't really fit into the environment and that's what I thought his character was going to be the entire movie but he definitely fits in with the, in the environment and he becomes like Bear Grylls basically by the end of the movie so I thought David Strathairn did a really good job as Tom. Meryl Streep as Gail, I really liked her as well. I thought she was a little mean at the start of the movie to Tom to be honest with you. She said some like kind of rude things back to him like can't you pretend to like nature like I pretend to like your drawings or whatever like that line that she said I thought that was kind of mean and a little bit unnecessary for her to say so I was like oh what the heck you're a little bit mean and then when she was flirting with Wade with him right there like I know that you guys are very distant from each other but you're still married to each other right like you're basically cheating on him right in front of 
of his eyes, at least like flirting with this other guy right in front of his eyes. And as uh, if I was Tom, that would like really, really hurt me for some. So like, I thought her character definitely had flaws, which I like with protagonists. I really liked that she had flaws, but she definitely owned up to them by the end of the movie. She was, I loved how like, like just good she was at rafting and how like, she just knew what to do in a lot of situations. She was very observant with her surroundings, very observant with the river ahead. And I know that she's a guide and she knew the river, but it was still a really cool character trait that she had. And I thought Meryl Streep did a really, really good job. Kevin Bacon as Wade. I didn't really like him the whole, at the start of the movie, I mean, it was Kevin Bacon and I really like Kevin Bacon, but his character would just fell off from the start of the movie. And then as the movie progresses, you're like, oh, he was meant, he meant to feel off. And yeah, I didn't, I mean, I thought Kevin Bacon did an amazing job. I Wade, Wade, I was so glad that he died at the end of the movie, though. He was, like, so creepy the way he would just stare at, like, Meryl Streep in, like, three or four different scenes. He would just be in the background staring or something, and then she'd turn around, and he'd be like, oh, hi there, or something like that. So, yeah, he was really creepy. He was kind of... He was, I was really scared that he was actually going to kill Tom at parts of the movie. I was very nervous he was going to kill Tom. And I was like, I know this movie is PG-13 and it's very unlikely, but I don't know. This was a 1994 movie. I feel like, I feel like it could, it could happen. It could happen. I'm not sure. I don't know. So I'm glad that he didn't kill Tom. I'm sad that he killed uh, the ranger, but what, what can you do, right? What can you do? The ranger was going to stop him. So, I mean, I understand why he killed the ranger, but <laughs> anyways, I thought Kevin Bacon did a really good job. Joseph Ma Mazzello. I think he's his name as Rourke. Rourke is such a fun name, isn't it? Rourke. I've, ne I've never heard that name before or seen that name before. And like Tom, Gale, and Rourke. Like what, what made them name their kids Rourke? Like Tom and Gale are kind of like very average names and Rourke. <laughs> I'm not really sure. I thought he was fine. He didn't do much in this movie. He was kind of a brat at points in the movie, but that's kind of, that's kind of how kids are. They don't, like, you're not gonna, the kids aren't gonna understand the situation fully, and obviously Gail and Tom never told him what the situation was, right? At least until, at least until, um, Wade started to beat up Tom, but I thought he did fine as work. He was, good on screen. He wasn't my favorite character. Uh, he might have been my least favorite character just because he didn't really... I don't think he added too much besides he was just a, a method of a way for Wade to have uh, some form of leverage over Gale and for Gale and Tom to have a bigger stake which was Rourke and so I thought his character was just there for more for that reason than as a like a full-fledged character but I still thought he did a good job. Last but not least was John C. Riley as Terry. John C. Riley is very hit or miss for me to be honest. Like some of his movies I, I really like and some of his movies I don't really like. It kind, I guess it kind of just depends on the comedy of the movie and stuff like that. But I thought he was really good as Terry in this movie. I really, it really enjoyed him. I thought whenever he did have some comedic moments I thought they were really funny but he played definitely a, it was a more serious movie but I think his character was still the goofy character that he likes to play. And so I, th I don't know. I thought it didn't, I thought it worked with this. I was going to say, I thought it, I, I don't know what I was going to say. I, I thought this movie worked with his character in it. It could have like, his character could have fallen flat because of the role that he was playing this very goofy character in a more serious, like thriller action movie. But again, I thought it worked. I thought his uh, chemistry with Wade was really good. It did feel like they knew each other for a long time, but they were kind of like at odds, with, like morally about what was right and what was wrong, which I really liked. And I liked his conversations with uh, Rourke and Gale as well. I thought they were really good conversations. And yeah, I just, I thought he was a good addition. I thought John C. Riley did a good job as well. And that is it for my reaction and review of The River Wild. Thank you so much for watching and thank you so much to these wonderful, beautiful, amazing people right here for supporting me and supporting my channel. It really does mean a lot. And thank you so much for listening to my review as well if you made it this far. It means a lot for you just to listen to me talk and talk and talk and talk and talk. And I will see you next time for my next Patreon exclusive.